ahead, and now that it is cooling off, it's a great time to be outdoors, really. Throw on a jacket. A lot of folks choose this time of year to think about uh, outside renovations. Jennifer Miller and Joe Melody from Nature's Expressions are here uh, with some advice for us all. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it very much. Thank, Thank you. you. What are people interested in doing this time of year? Well, um, a lot of times people are calling in wanting to do some fall plantings because it's a great time of year for that and landscape lighting. Um, and we work all year long. So, you know, the ground doesn't freeze. So we'll even do a pool project so it's ready in the spring. Yeah. So, so a lot of people probably think, oh, well, they could probably close down for the winter. But yes. you say it stays busy. It stays yeah. busy. And with all the rain we've had, thank you so much. You know, we do a lot of drainage work. Um, uh, yeah. So so that's, what, you know, that um, getting the water away from your house to protect your home. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of things that we'll do. And Joe, you brought in... Uh, an example of some plants that you can do mm -hmm. this time of year and maybe even have a at least some evergreen uh, color even through the winter time. Certainly. Uh, to carry the theme from the summer and offer color for our clients through the fall, uh, we brought you a couple of examples today. Um, here on uh, your right, we have uh, a hydrangea that's a dwarf oak leaf, and you'll get that deep wine red color deep late into the fall and the flowers. Uh, when the leaves drop, you'll get an exfoliating bark. And what that means is that as that peels, it'll offer color and texture for you as well. Uh, the heavenly bamboo, this is a type of nandina. It's called Tuscan Flame, and that will provide color for you throughout the winter. And then additionally, we brought a pot here. These are things we do for seasonal color bill. Uh, our clients will ask for so these flowers can change through the summer. And uh, we'll incorporate shrubs, herbs, flowers, and various plants that people enjoy. You know, a lot of folks really enjoy the four seasons in mm -hmm. Kentucky, you know, right. and uh, one way in the wintertime, maybe a, a fire pit or something like that, that's one of the things that uh, you do as well? Exactly. You know, we want to extend that time of, of space being outside and bring in, for me, it's having a place for my kids to be in the in the wintertime to just draw them together. And um, you can do gas logs, you can do fire. Um, I brought some lights because we do a lot of landscape lighting this time of year. Um, and so there's all kinds of options when it comes to landscape lighting. The one that you're getting ready to pick mm -hmm. up, I talk about um, just as a woman, I've got my really nice leather boots that are like the expensive ones, you know, that my husband bought me to yeah, treat right, me, right. you know, and that's what this one is. It's a um, what they call a VLO, which is a variable lumen output. So as your plant grows, it changes the amount of lumen that goes out and it's got a magnet that changes that. It's all sealed. So that's kind of your higher end landscape lighting. Mm -hmm. And then we have another one here that has a drop in light. Right. Um, so, you know, there's all different kinds of landscape lights that we use. Um, it just depends on what your needs are. Um, so I kind of compare that to one sometimes to, you know, you've got the, all the way from the pleather boot that I'll buy for my girls, you know, that kind of looks the same, but functionally and durability, it's not going to long last for some of those. Um, but there's a whole range. So that's kind of what we talk about with landscape lighting. KentuckyBackyard.com is your website, that's right? That's right. Folks can yep. check you out. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, appreciate Bill. I appreciate it. it. All right. Happy winter, I guess, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs>